Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a one-way ANOVA in Excel using the Data Analysis Toolkit. Um, that's a free toolkit that you actually do have to install in Excel, but uh, it's from Excel itself, so it, it should be no problem installing it. And the one thing is, uh, I'll be using this as an example, and it's important to first actually sort all of this. So sort A to Z and then uh, simply copy paste them uh, one by one so these are my first factors so i'll put those separately uh, these are the second ones so they all go in their own separate little column and then the third ones also go separately not sure if there's a faster way of doing this uh, but this shouldn't take too long then go to the data ribbon and then select data analysis so if you don't see this one make sure to analyze the um, toolkit for data analysis and then the ANOVA single factor click on OK and it will actually ask you the input range which is uh, these and then uh, they are sorted by columns because I put them like this you can also put them in rows uh, label in first row, no I didn't use any labels, I could have put the location in the first row therefore and I'll simply want to output it let's say here be careful because it will require some space this output so that it doesn't overlap with anything else in your spreadsheet click on OK and it nicely gives me the counts, the sum for each group, the average and the variance and then the ANOVA table for the between, the sum of squares, the corresponding degrees of freedom, the mean square, the F value and the significance of that F value and the critical F value uh, at uh, 0.05 significance level. So that's very quickly in a nutshell how to perform a one-way ANOVA in Excel using the data analysis. In this case it's below 0.05 so probably these averages up here, some or more of them are significantly different from each other. 